right, so it looks like we're live. So today, guess what arrived? My Pine 64 post market OS Pine phone community edition. Uh, small box. So I received a message on my phone saying this has been delivered. And um, I rushed uh, to the lockers where this is actually delivered and um, at first I wasn't quite sure what it was but I could guess from the weight of it that um, there's got to be something that has a battery um, but here it is Pine 64 post market OS um, here's what the box looks like um, shrink wrapped nothing so special let's Try and open this. Let's see, cut this film away. All right, small box. I open this. Nothing there. And then just looks like this. There is a little leaflet introducing post market OS. This community edition of the Pine Phone ships with a beta release of the post market OS, a free and open source operating system based on Alpine Linux. In contrast to Alpine Linux, post market OS is built primarily with smartphones and other touch input devices in mind. The build you're receiving on your Pine phone runs mainline Linux with open source drivers, as well as the Fosh shell, P-H-O-S-H, like phone shell, P-H-O-S-H, in one word, Fosh shell. The Fosh shell, based on the GNOME 3 desktop environment. This is pretty cool, actually. You know, for the longest time, I've wanted to have a phone that just runs Linux, and I can't understand for the life of me why um, OSs like Android uh, aren't more Linux-like, and, you know, why it has to be a different OS. And just, uh, you know, I used to have a uh, Nokia MER device, M-E-R, what was that um, that device? It was a, a Nokia device that had a little fold-out keyboard, and that was also based on Linux. And that was freaking amazing. I could run GIMP, I could run everything on that small phone, but then uh, Nokia, Nokia, what happened to Nokia? This guy who later went to Microsoft, I think, basically decided to shut down that, that whole business. And there it was. Okay, so there's a getting started Pine resources. And what is this? Pine phone user manual, quick start guide. In English. And I'm guessing, no, it's all in English. Good. I'm not going to complain. Like, I don't know who reads the manual, right? Let's try first. And then it says, what does it say? Please peel off this mask after application completed. This looks like it might be instructions for a screen cover. Okay, let's open it up. Oh, there's a little like uh, docking station here. It looks like um, a USB-C port. A small USB-C docking station has another USB-C port here. It has USB, USB. This looks like an HDMI port. This looks like a RG um, network port. So this is kind of cool. I'm going to be able to connect it to the network physically even. Hopefully. Let's see. 
So that was like at the bottom. And then otherwise there's this and this is the device. Oops. There's a cable there. I'm guessing this is going to be a USB-C USB cable. Yep. Okay. So, you know, that's another thing to check to see if it does charge and data. Because right now, you know, half of my cable, half of my cables like this, USB-C cables, do charging only. The other half do data. And there's no way to know until you try. Okay, let's see if I can take it out of this little polyurethane skin, plastic skin. Wow, it says Linux. Powered by Linux. Let me see. Let's uh, pull it out of the sleeve. All right. Post Market OS edition. And then powered by Linux. Super cool. And then this says, please peel off this mask after application completed. Not quite clear what application completed means. I, I guess. Oh, maybe so. It's a screen protector, and they have already applied it for me because it looks like it's in place, right? And uh, they haven't peeled off the protective layer on the top of it, so that's kind of cool. Okay, let's look at the side here. Let me see if I can adjust the. Lighting to get a more. I hope that will work. I don't know. It's going to be too bright, maybe. So, on the I presume right hand side of the phone, there's like two buttons and one that looks like a rocker. So I guess that's going to be like volume up and down, and this might be on and off. I'm guessing. At the top here, there is a. What is that? It could be. I'm, you know, I'm tempted to say that it's a uh, microphone jack, but it does look really small. For a second, I thought it might be a um, uh, infrared port or something like that. But no, it does look like you know it's a hole, and so it's about the size. But it, it looks really, really small, and there's nothing else in the box, right? So. Uh, I can't really test it unless I grab one of my spares here to test it. I don't know. Just want to see if that fits right. So this is like a regular jack. Okay, I'm pressing it in. It seems to fit. No, no difficulty there. So it is a um, jack at the bottom. At the bottom, there's a USB-C port, and then there's a little, a little hole there. I'm guessing that's the microphone or a microphone, but what do I know? And then at the back, we have what looks like a camera, and and then there's a little thing that looks like a LED for a flash, and there's a little pine sort of a insert there, no, little pine logo. And I don't know if that has any function behind it or it's just decorative. Uh, it says powered by Linux. Oh, there's little, um, this feels like speaker kind of um, uh, grid there, you know, holes like a mesh. Um, the device feels good it's a bit it's quite heavy i guess but you know that's what you'd expect from a, a device that has like a, a battery and it's supposed to be quite dense um i must say it's a you know it's a nice nice size it fits nicely in my my pocket presumably in my hand now if i compare this to uh, my Huawei uh, tablet, um, you know, it's like, my tablet is like 1.5, 1.6, 1.7, 1.8, 1.9, 1.10, 1.11, 1.12, 1.13, 1.14, 1.15, 1.16, 1.17, 1.18, 1.19, 1.20, 1.21, 1.22, 1.23
uh, times that. Weight-wise, my tablet is still heavier. Um, okay, so what should I do now? Should I just peel this off? I don't know what I'm doing, but let's try and peel it off. Alright, that peeled off alright. And then, oh, there's a little something here. What is that? Oh, there's a little, do you see that? There's a little plastic recess there with a SIM card adapter. Uh, it looks to be a micro SIM to a mini SIM to micro SIM or a nano SIM to m micro SIM or something like that. Good thing I noticed. All right, shall I try and switch this on? I don't know if it comes with any battery life. I'm kind of pressing what I think is the on off button. And you know, I'll hold it down a little bit because these things sometimes need a bit of time. But no, nothing's happening. So, you know, I'm kind of assuming that the thing is um, is basically not charged. So I'm going to plug it into a USB-C charger and hope that something happens. Ooh, we have a green light that turns white. And it says, post market OS loading. This is kind of cool. Uh, and now what? I mean, presumably it's going to charge, so I don't know if it's going to lo load the whole OS. Loading, post-market OS. You're about to install post-market OS version 20.05. User interface, Flash, architecture AARCH or ARCH64 on your Pine64 Pine phone. Continue. Not sure if I'm brave enough to continue at this point. I might want to take a look at the getting started kind of a. Uh, um, okay, before you boot your device for the first time, please make sure to carefully read your quick start guide included in the box. Okay, I fail on that one because technically I've already booted. The manual contains information concerning initial hardware setup, safety instructions, as well as detailed explanations. Upon initial boot of PostMarket OS, you will be greeted with a first-run setup. You'll be asked to create a password and choose whether you wish to enable SSH, which will create SSH credentials, importantly. You will be given the opportunity to encrypt your installation. Once the setup is complete, installation of PostMarket OS will commence. The installation process may take a couple of minutes to finalize. Wow. Once the installation is complete, the Pine phone will reboot. And if you've chosen to encrypt the installation partition, you'll be asked to enter your password. Thereafter, you'll be presented with a quick how-to manual that will introduce you to Flash Shell as well as, ver as various OS's features, such as software installation and system updates. Okay, this is just like a getting started sort of uh, preview, but I, I suppose it's not the real getting started. The real getting, oh, there's German here as well. The real quick start guide is this in here. Okay, let me unfold it again to see. Oh, there's one side in English. Oh, there's French as well. So there's English. One, two, three, four. So it's like four little sort of uh, quarter pages like that, which is like, you know, I mean, A something really far. Then there's German and Spanish. So you have German, Spanish, English, and French. Now, what does it tell me? It tells me what's in the package. User manual, quick start guide, Pine phone, USB-C power cable. Well, they don't mention the, um, you know, the little adapter. Uh, there's no charger, but, you know, who needs a charger for devices anymore? I have like 600 at home, and I don't know what to do with them. Uh, cautions. Before using the device, read the manual carefully, duh. 
notes for safe operation should be charged using a 15 watt power adapter. Charging at a higher voltage may result in damage to the device. Oh, oh, what the heck am I using? I have no idea. Can I check? <coughs> 15 watts. How the heck do I know? And I, d I don't want to unplug it either because, you know, it's like a half booted now. Mm. I don't know what would happen. Let's see. Okay, so let's admit or guess that this is like a 15 watt uh, device. Why not? Um, okay, I'm not supposed to puncture, disassemble, strike, or squeeze the battery. Okay, I remember that. Recycling, okay, getting started. Back case removal. There's a back case for a initial setup. Yeah, that's true. I mean, where do you put the. Um, yeah, where do you put the SD card? I have no idea. Right, there's a notch at the bottom left here that's what they say so basically you're supposed to lift it there and i don't know what you get initial setup well your pine phone arrives with a plastic strip placed between the power connections and battery oh oh <laughs> okay so i unplugged this and now that it's unplugged Gonna look at this power supply to see if it's telling me how many watts this is. Total output 25 watts. Uh oh, that might be too much. So might not try that again. This has been from my Huawei device before. Doesn't tell me how many watts. Forget it. Okay, but anyway, I'm supposed to open this, so let's try and open this. I think you basically just peel this off. I guess I can see a little notch. I'm quite annoyed that I didn't see that when I was looking at the device. This is like opening oysters. Do I need a hammer? All right. So something lifted. And then... Okay, wow, you can see all the inside. Look at this. Super cool. So this is where the SD card... Oh, and it's a... Um, it's a removable battery. Isn't that cool? I love that. I love that. Assuming I can get a spare one. Um, rated capacity, 2,800 milliamps hour. Typical capacity, 3,000 milliamps hours. Rated voltage, 3.8. Okay, don't read, don't short circuit, don't puncture, don't, you know, the usual. Okay, this is the little plastic strip, I think, that they mentioned was there protecting the contacts. So I'm going to take this out like they say and then what else can i see while i'm in there 
This is interesting. What is this? There's like things that I don't understand here. This is where the, um, presumably the, the SIM card goes. No, it's not. TF. It says TF. And then what is this? There's no context there. I don't even want to pull out. Uh, let's see if there's a map there that tells you what you can see. Yeah, it doesn't say nothing about that, that notch at the bottom. It says... Oh, this is RAM. Three gig RAM, thirty two gig eMMC. So this thing here says three gig RAM and thirty two gig eMMC. Then there's a reset button. There's like contacts here. I don't know if these actually. No, they don't talk to anything on the um, on the cover. Oh, this must be the uh, speaker then, because this is at the same spot that um, there's the sound uh, speaker. I don't know what this is. This looks like contacts for debugging or whatever, a JTAG or something like that. And um, I'm not clear. This says TF or... SIM, okay. So presumably you can put either a TF card or a SIM card or both in there. I have no idea whatsoever. It's quite light now, obviously, without the battery. I don't know what these like stickers are. This might be the battery, you know, something like that. It's like a lot of mysterious. Um, patterns there you see all these these interesting prints I have no idea what that is unless can this uh, I'm not going to try and open it but uh, okay it says something here let me see there's dip switches wow there's like hardware switches here it says on off. Yeah, it says on and KE. Not sure what KE is. But basically these are dip switches. And then there's a legend on the side that says number one is modem. Number two is Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. So that's the radio. Number three is the microphone. Number four is the rear camera. Number five is the front camera, and number six is the headphone. So you can basically hardware switch off any of these features. That's pretty cool. That's a good phone for paranoid people. Like, you know, this is pretty cool. I mean, I've never seen that level of hardware access on any phone before. Okay, so let's try and put this... Um, thing back in I don't really I guess I could try and put a SD card in but you know a SIM card in or an SD card but let's not try and do too much at once let's pace ourselves uh, so I put the battery back in and then I try and put this the correct way up I have no idea how to clip it back in place. I guess I just press it. And it looks like it's done. Not sure if you do that too often, you know, it might, after a while, it might become loose. But um, you could always shrink it with a, a hairdryer or tape it. All right, so should I try and see if the battery arrives charged? Yeah, I press. 
the on button. Aha! So it does the same thing that it did when I connected it to power exactly. Post market OS loading. And so we'll do this like a quick Linux prompt, like at the top there. I couldn't read that, and then it says loading. So at the same uh, same spot now. Uh, all right, so I think you know I'm going to leave it at that for a fast uh, unboxing uh, video, and you know I might actually try to go further on my own a little bit, and I might do another another session um, if I find something interesting, if I get anything to work. Let's see. Uh, but pretty exciting. So anyway, thanks for watching, whoever you are. I think this is like my first YouTube video that I made public. So, um, you know, I might have two viewers, like me on my laptop and me on my phone or something like that. <laughs> but we'll see how it goes. Thank you for watching. And uh, see you next time, maybe. And if you're watching this, you should be able to contact me and ask questions if you want to.